What's up guys, hope you're doing fantastic today. My name is Tyson, here with Repair My Funnel, and today we'll be talking about Speechify. Speechify is a, uh, a platform that allows you to turn text into speech, and you can choose uh, different voices to read things to you, you can change the speed at which it reads to you, all that good stuff, um, but the main thing it is used for is to turn text into speech. You can uh, technically scan documents as well, so like if you're reading a book and you just want the page to be read out loud to you, uh, you can use your phone or even a a tablet or, or a, um, what was this, an iPad, uh, you can have that scan the page that you were reading and it will read it to you as well. There's, there's many different use cases for this, but uh, really it, it is useful, at least to me, when it comes to researching different topics or getting uh, up to speed on something new, just because I can breeze through something really quickly. It's a lot more engaging than me just going through a boring article that is uh, walk me step by step, right? I can change the speed, which it's going to be the main driver for me, at least when it comes to keeping my attention. Uh, if I'm reading and I have no auditory uh, sensation whatsoever, I, I get really bored. I almost want to fall asleep when I'm reading stuff, uh, which I, I don't know why. I just uh, maybe I have ADHD, whatever. This app seems to grab my attention really quickly and make it so I can move on with my day and not have to sit and and dread reading things when I don't have to. Now let's go ahead and just dive in and I'll show you how this actually works. All you have to do is make sure you have either the desktop app downloaded or the Chrome extension. I believe there's also one for Edge as far as an app that's directly in a browser. Um, that's what I'm using right now. And with that actually installed, you'll see a little bar appear basically on every single page that you are on. Um, right now I'm on our blog and let's say I'm trying to research a little bit more about appointments inside of ClickFunnels 2.0. Now, I could just read it, right? And it's not an incredibly long article or anything like that, but I could breeze through it within a minute at two times the speed. I like to usually sit around 3x personally. We'll go right here, right? And uh, you can also change the voice right over here as well. Now, after that, just hit play, and it's gonna take you from the very top of the page all the way down and basically read through the entirety of the content. That's it, you see it highlights it, it goes through and, and <laughs> it goes one at a time. There we go, Let's skip over images. Now, if you wanna save like a page that you were reading to your library directly inside the Speechify app so you can access it on your mobile devices or directly on the desktop app, um, either way, uh, you can just go over here and click on save to library and this will make it so you can come back to it later. It will actually save it inside of its repository so you can go into the app itself listen to it at any point. You can download it for offline listening, which is really cool. Now, aside from reading blog posts and different research topics, I also really enjoy using this for emails, right? Just to read my uh, newsletters that I get every day. Uh, I like to go through and just have it read to me, right? So right underneath the actual sending email, you'll see an option to press play. That's gonna be Speechify and it, it will appear like that in certain locations. Um, from page to page, but specifically for Gmail in this case, this is where it's going to display. Um, and then at that point, you'll see the little sidebar appear where you can drag it around to place it wherever you want. And that's true for any page, actually. You can move this to uh, be placed wherever you actually want it to be. But uh, at that point, you can go in and actually change the variability. You can change the voice, right? You can make it from whatever you want. If I want Snoop Dogg to read to me, I can. There we go. <laughs> he starts sounding a little funny past uh, around two and a half reading speed. But uh, anyways, it allows you to go through and, and create the experience that you really want. Okay. Um, now, unlike the web page where you can go and actually save the article you're reading using this guy right here, right? You don't have that option within emails, but that's because inside of the app itself for SpeechBot, or at least on mobile, you have the opportunity to go in and actually connect your inbox so you can just go in and select the email and have it read to you out loud, that's it. Uh, so there's not really a need for it because you can access it at any point from the app. Now, just to give you another example of how you can use this, uh, let's go to another page here, another article. And for this, let's say that this guy doesn't appear, this actual tab or, or the, uh, the Speechify app uh, integration or extension does not show up on the page itself. What you can do is you can hover by text and click on play next to the text that you want uh, to actually be read to you, right? Click on that, it should start reading from that location. Uh, there we go. Uh, another thing you can do is highlight the actual text that you want to be read, just like that and right hand click on it, click on read selection. Just look for the little Speechify uh, logo, it's a little wavelength there. And after that it will then read the selected text that you 
I've just highlighted. That's it. All right. Now, again, there's multiple ways to actually use this app. You can use it for desktop, you can use it for mobile, and you can use it on an iPad or a tablet, right? Anywhere where there is iOS or Android, I believe that you can um, go and actually download the app necessary. But on a desktop side here for the browser level, this is what your library will actually look like. Once you have an account, right, and you are ready to start uploading documents, you can go over here and hit new, and you can upload a ton of different types of, of documents here. Uh, EPUB, PDF, uh, TXT files, doc, it doesn't matter. You can upload them right here directly. You can also connect to your Google Drive, Dropbox, Canvas if you're a student uh, and you wanna you know, match with your learning and, and, and try to keep up through here. Um, this is gonna be a very useful tool for that. Uh, aside from that, you can always copy and paste uh, directly into the app here or paste in a web link. Now, if you paste in a web link right here, uh, it's gonna do the same thing as when you are saving a page essentially. All right, so I go over here and let's say I wanna save this page. Give it a second here. Save to my library, right? So if I go back to my library, I'm gonna go and refresh, it should be here on, uh, yeah, right here. Appointments overview, if I go back to view it, it'll bring me to the uh, red version of the article with all the images, everything stays in place, which is pretty crazy. There we go, I can interact with it. I'm gonna leave it as is, I'm not gonna go through it all, but yeah, it, it, it saves it here for you to go through and check out at any point, um, just like that. But if you wanted to, do the same thing without going to the actual website or, and saving it. Maybe you had like just a direct link that you want to paste in here. You can go to new and paste in the web link and it will save it to your library just like what we, we achieved here by going to the actual page and saving. Um, this is extremely useful for uh, the mobile side, right? When you're not actually able to use it within a browser, which is not true, you can use it on Safari, but I like using Chrome. So I like to just paste in the URL for the page itself here uh, on the mobile app, and it will then add it to the library and I can read it from there. All right. Um, one other thing, I don't really use this. I used it in the beginning and it was all right. I'm sure it's come a long way since then. Uh, since the beginning, this is probably like two years ago now. Um, but you can actually scan a page, like an actual book that you're reading. Uh, you can scan that page and have it read to you as well. Uh, it uses your phone and basically you just flip it open and it scans whatever pages you want and uh, make your reading for even like regular textbook stuff, really easy. Another useful thing that I've heard this being used for is like legal documents, contracts, stuff like that. Like stuff that you would probably fall asleep while reading. Uh, this will help you knock it out of the way a lot quicker and make it a lot more entertaining. So again, this is super helpful for anything that is text-based that you're trying to have read to you or, or make a little bit more exciting as you are going through it. All right, now one thing I haven't really touched on is that there is built-in AI assistance for any of your documents inside of the platform here. It doesn't matter if you're on the desktop side using the browser or if you're on the mobile uh, side or mobile app, um, it is built directly in. So you can go into any document just like this, give it a second here, let me pause it when it loads, um, and you can go to Ask AI. Now you can have it summarize the entire document here. Uh, you can go in and ask specific questions about the document, uh, like, what is the appointment app on Look funnels 2.0? There we go. It's going to go and actually find the answer in the text itself. Pretty fantastic. Aside from that, you can have it summarize the entire document, right? If you go over here, you can choose the length. I'm going to go with medium and we'll go with bullet point, generate summary. There we go, just like that. And now you can just go through the main points of the actual article if you wanted to, um, or reading if you're reading like an actual ebook, uh, totally up to you, but this is super powerful. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this overview of one of my favorite apps or softwares out there um, that has honestly dramatically changed my life and the way I consume content. Um, Go enjoy it. If you would like to check it out for yourself and decide to go with a premium plan, there is a link down below that you can get $60 off your first year. All right. Otherwise, they do have a free option. Just go to speechify.com or use the link below. Either way, they'll let you do a free trial. Uh, check it out. Have a good time. Aside from that, have a fantastic rest of your day, guys. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next video.